One of the biggest new features of Hypothyzer version 4 is the Visualizer. Built directly into the Zookeeper interface, the Visualizer allows you to pre-visualize your show, be it for your own pre-programming purposes or to pitch your ideas to your client. The Visualizer runs locally on the Zookeeper application and has to run locally to the server that it is displaying video from. Do be aware that remote Zookeepers will not allow you to pre-visualize your show. We can import many different model types, as you will see here, and more types will be added as time goes on. To begin with, I'm going to work with a 3DS file, as you can see, and that includes its texture folder for all of the textures that are supported and mapped onto the surfaces within the 3D scene. The model comes into the visualizer, and there you can see the textures shown on the floor, by the way of the grass, also on some of the LED screens and the lights within the scene. To map video onto each scenic element, simply select it with your mouse, scroll to the model properties section in the bottom right hand corner, enable it, choose a display type, UV display, LED wall, or two projection map types, which I'll come to later. I'm going to select a UV display and then choose the mix as the source. Instantly, you will see your video mapped to the screen and continue playback. I'm now going to go through and map some more of the screens before moving on to the next section. So now we have the video mapped onto all of the surfaces we require within the scene. Of course, there are many other elements that video could be displayed upon, but I'm going to leave it there for now. To make the scene more realistic, I'm going to start with the environment controls here at the top. This allows me to adjust the background color, like so, but also the ambient color within the scene from the lighting that's automatically placed into the scene. Scroll back from the model and you will see an omnidirectional light automatically placed into the scene for you. If I scroll to the top of the hierarchy of the visualizer project, I will find the default scene light that is added to the scene when I start the project. And to make the scene more realistic, I'm going to change this from an omnidirectional light to a spotlight. Varying controls allow you to move the position, rotation and type within the scene in order to give you a better idea of what you're looking at. We can also access colors, intensity and field of view, both inner and outer. We're also able to enable shadows within the scene and you'll see that this makes the scene far more realistic due to this, the shadows cast by the very objects on stage. Now, in order to look around the project, I'm going to use my three-dimensional mouse. We support both 2D and 3D mice within the scene, but you'll see that a 3D mouse is very, very handy in being able to give yourself a little fly through and get to the different angles of the scene quickly and easily. Once your scene is created, I'm then going to go in and create multiple views. To do so, at the Views tab at the bottom, every time you want to save a preset of that camera position, just hit the plus sign at the bottom, like so. You can then move to a new position, and continue to add, like so. When your four views are created, you can use those to quickly and easily move around the scene and see the stage, in this case, from various angles. 
Once the views are created, however, you can also right click to create an animation. Right click the animation itself and select edit animation. You will then be presented with all of the presets you've created and you can quickly and easily add those to the playlist. With your animation complete, you can now click the animation and this will give you an automatic visual fly through of your visualization. Not only that, but with the animation complete, simply right click again, select save to disk and you will be given options in order to export the entire visualization as a full frame rate video. With codec options, resolution, frame rate, and the ability to add your own watermark. Simply select OK and the video will be exported for you. With your visualization complete, I strongly recommend saving the project, which will save all of the patching, the model itself, and all of your hard work in a single Green Hippo Visualizer project file.